At Kids Hub Media Network, we train and mentor youth in media broadcasting. Find out how you can make a difference at kidshub.org. Kids Hub, a positive place for kids connect. Good night, everyone. My name is Regine Bennett, and I'm a junior broadcaster from the Kids Hub Media Network. Here I have with me Miss Andrea Daly, the Team Jamaica Bickles Public Relations Officer. So could you please tell me, what was your relationship like with Team Jamaica Bickles? Well, um, I've been with Team Jamaica Bickle going seven years and um, I was brought on board to help bring awareness and visibility to the organization to ensure that more people know about us, um, to also support and broaden programs that advance the mission and that our mission is taking care of our athletes at Penn, ensuring that they have the best time but also that they are well taken care of and um, help, helping to get support for our programs. And um, interestingly, one of the new programs introduced was a Kids Hub media program where young people like yourself could give a voice not just to what we do, but also speak on behalf of other youth who are doing great things for the country. In terms of our athletes going out to this year's 2016 Penn Relays, what advice do you have to give to them? I mean, in terms of the, the rush, I mean, they're going out for the competition, the call. What advice do you have for them? Well, um, some of them are seasoned campaigners. They've traveled a lot, not just to Penn, but you know, across the Caribbean and other regions, um, representing their schools, representing the country. Um, so they're very familiar with uh, Philadelphia and what pertains. But it's a very exciting time. And I'm sure for them, it's the desire and the commitment to do well. So I just say to them, stay focused which they always do anyway, but stay focused, work hard, and of course, they will realize their dreams. So did you go to this year's ISA Champs? I did, yes. So what do you have to say about the athletes' performance? I mean, they went out there, fierce, and they were ready for the tracks. You're, you use the right word, fierce. They were ready for the tracks. Um, we, we were just amazed at the level of commitment, grit, determination that was so evident in just the way they handled themselves. You could see the desire to win. Um, it was very exciting. The, some of the races really more exciting than others. But champs is always a wonderful experience. And there's nothing like it in the world in terms of high school championships. Um, so I had a wonderful time. And I'm sure that everybody who did, who came did, especially that last race and the final leg with Chris Matila and Akeem Bluefield, um, was re really brought the house down. In terms of Christopher Taylor's performance and Akeem Bloomfield, I mean, that was the performance of the night. I mean, persons were really looking forward to that performance. At first, Christopher Taylor had it, then Akeem Bloomfield came up again, then he passed him and went to the finish line winning. So what do you have to say about that? Well, um, there, I won't get into the technical bit of it because I'm not the expert. There are different opinions about how that race could have been handled by the KC athlete Bloomfield. Um, but what really came home to me was the heart of a lion, I would say, that young Taylor, who was not overcome by the moment, he's prepared for anything, and um, you know, so to me, that was the, the highlight performance of that race. Um, Bloomfield really, really tried his best, and he ran a fast a split, a split, but um, the winner is the winner, you know, so um, I'm really impressed by young Taylor and um, that he's not faced in the moment um, by, you know, being in a, he was really punching a weight, a weight above his class, really. Thank you very much. You're most welcome. You've heard it from Miss Andrea. Stay tuned to Kids Up Media Network.